The next piece I'm going to design is the support pin. And if you look closely, it has a total length of 2.63 inches. The inner length is 1.63, and so it basically has these half inch um, extended pieces onto the pin. And then there is a little chamfer. Now, um, there is a typo here. It says that the diameter is 2.5 on the larger diameter. It should be 0.25, and that was a typo. And so we're going to design it um, using Inventor. So going to Inventor, just going File, New, and select Standard IPT and go Create. And the way I'm going to start with this is first make the larger piece, which is 0.25 inches. I'm going to do a circle, and then I'm just going to extrude that, and I'm going to do a symmetric extrude at 1.63 inches. Then on one end, I'm going to start a sketch, and I'm going to make a circle that is 0.19 inches and I know that um, if we go back to the drawing the diameter of the, the extended the half inch extensions are 0.19 inches and so then I'm going to extrude this and I'm going to extrude it out at 0.5 inches and then I can hit OK. Next thing is a chamfer we have a 30,000 chamfer, so I'm going to change the 0.125 to 0 0.03 and hit apply. And so now we have one end done. You could repeat the process at the other end, um, but a simpler way to do it is using the mirror. And so if we hit mirror here, and under features, we have two things we want to mirror, both the extrusion and the chamfer. And then we have a plane that we want to mirror it about. Since we did a symmetric extrude originally about the XY plane, I could go to the origin tab, find the XY plane, and it will make a mirror of that. And so now I can just go OK, and it gives us a mirror. So we can change the material and then save the part. 